Tesla is by far one of the most thriving companies in modern history. They popularized completely electric cars and generated a huge demand among the public with a market cap of around $380 billion. Tesla is flourishing by the day, but to keep up with the massive workload, Tesla created an innovative facility known as the Gigafactory. Today, we're taking a look inside the Tesla Gigafactory. Tesla recently manufactured about 350,000 cars a year, far fewer than the public demands, but they have ambitions to increase production to more than 20 million cars a year. This amazing strategy will require as many advances in their current chain of production, including some larger factories, which are recently being established all over the world. But the bedrock of Tesla's production line is their Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada. The company's first completely built factory will act as the model for what in the end could be a dozen huge Tesla factories globally. In order to transition the world to sustainable energy, we really need to build this big and boldly, and really build as many battery cells as we perhaps could to really accelerate the transition," Chris Lister, Tesla's Vice President of Operations, told CNBC. Only about 30% of the factory is currently constructed, but upon completion, it could be the world's biggest building by footprint. Tesla for now said US orders for the Model 3 had improved quickly its available output for the past two years. The Gigafactory, which is open 24-7, currently has 7,000 employees. The Gigafactory churns out roughly two battery packs every minute. Its production is recently approximated to be 5,000 a week, with room to grow. According to Sam Jeff, Managing Director at Cairn Energy Research Advisors in Boulder, Colorado, Jeff researches the electric vehicle market, particularly focusing on the cost of building the battery packs and cells that supply the energy inside those packs. Jeff's analysis brings down Tesla's cost to produce the battery cell at $116 per kilowatt hour, which he says is far ahead of the industry. He roughly considered other automakers building electric vehicles have battery cell costs close to $146 per kilowatt hour. Tesla's Project Roadrunner intends to lessen the cost to 100 per kilowatt hour by 2021. Tesla has shown an ability and a drive to lessen both cell costs and battery pack costs. He stated they have been planning for this moment with this massive cost advantage for a long time, and generally, they have executed well on it. That's not to say that there haven't been problems at the Gigafactory. Tesla at first partnered with Panasonic to produce its proprietary batteries. Panasonic asserted they could raise energy density within Tesla's batteries, and after years of reportedly fraught relationships between the two companies, they currently signed another deal that is due to last until 2023. Panasonic is not Tesla's only battery supplier anymore since they started their partnership with LG Chem and CATL to supply cells in China working alongside the factory's 7,000 human employees as a team of super smart robots. The automated robots can transport material between workstations quicker and lift heavier loads while staying charged for 19 hours. Some of the robot's navigation through the factory utilizes digital maps. An employee expanded on that, stating that they are really on a fixed path, so it's very foreseeable that they are going to the same locations, picking up from one location and dropping off at another location. What it enables us to really do is to have things moving from inventory to line side all day long without a whole lot of human interference at all. The Gigafactory 1 is aligned on True North, which was achieved so that the equipment could be mapped by GPS and solar panels on the roof can be correctly aligned. The factory has also been designed to become fully energy self-reliant. Tesla intends to power the structure throughout a combination of on-site solar winds and geothermal sources. When completed, the building will have the biggest footprint in the world and the second biggest volume. Although Tesla has met with scrutiny for wastefulness within the factory, its master plan consists of many energy-saving features. For instance, excess heat from equipment such as compressors in high-temperature ovens will be able to not only operate equipment efficiently, but assist in keeping the factory warm in the colder months. In the end, the roof will include 200,000 solar panels. These will expand across 1.8 million square feet of the factory. The location is a crucial component of the Gigafactory's capability to use solar energy as it's situated in a desert that gets a huge amount of sunlight. When construction started in 2015, it seemed that Tesla was risking everything on the Gigafactory 1. It would churn out the batteries required for the Tesla Model 3, which is the car that was expected to make or break the company. 
and for which Tesla already had hundreds of thousands of orders, in spite of the fact that first day deliveries were still more than a year away. Production had already started at this point in the form of Tesla Powerwalls and Power Packs, which are meant for stationary energy storage for a home or a business. The Powerwall is a bit like a huge battery hanging out on your wall for whatever you require it for power outages, or even just smoothing out energy consumption. One power pack in turn is 16 Powerwall batteries in a stack, and the energy reserved inside can power a normal American home for three days, Tesla states. At least five states rivaled to attract Gigafactory by proffering tax incentives, cash grants, and other methods in hopes of future business. After very difficult negotiations, Tesla chose the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center, or TRIC, as the final location of the Gigafactory. It was majorly due to speed and a state of Nevada's incentive package. Other reasons included rail access, direct saleability, and low air humidity to make sure less than 300 parts per million humidity in production. The TRIC owners offered the first 1,000 acres to Tesla for free. And of course, the factory is not without controversy. In 2018, August Carl Hansen, a former member of the company's security team, issued a whistleblower complaint with the Securities and Exchange Commission. In the complaint, he claims that Tesla subdued an internal investigation into various criminal activities that happened at Giga Nevada. As a result of the complaint, Hansen went on to allege that Tesla fired him as an employee and then as a contractor because he was not a Tesla team player. The investigation was later halted without an explanation. Following months of work, Hansen recounted his whole story in a three-hour-long interview. There are some gigafactories being constructed around the globe. The first is located in Giga 2 in Buffalo, New York. Tesla's Giga in New York was not exactly a facility of the electric car maker. Instead, it was a factory in Solar City before the company was obtained by Tesla. Giga New York was considered to be a facility for Tesla Energy supplying the company flagship residential energy product, the solar roof, among others. Tesla was given benefits for Giga New York to the tune of more than $950 million. Meanwhile, Tesla's $2 billion Gigafactory in Shanghai, or Gigafactory 3, which was established this year, is anticipated to produce Tesla's Model 3 using a complete vehicle production line before the end of the year. Tesla is constructing another factory outside of Berlin, also known as Gigafactory 4. Finally, the Giga 5 is being constructed just outside of Austin, Texas. There has been rumors flying around that Tesla may be contemplating the idea of working with many general contractors for Giga Texas has built out. That being said, Tesla is flourishing extremely quickly, and its fleet of Gigafactories will act as the backbone of the company.